Master of the Waves is making its debut as the next 7 star rate boss Pokemon, starting on Friday, February 2nd through the 4th, and then again a week later from the 9th of February until the 11th. And Polion, the majestic Emperor Pokemon with the mightiest mark, will be appearing in Black Crystal Terror Raid battles. Because Empoleon is also a penguin, it will freeze everyone in its path with its terror type eyes. The penguin of the waves will likely have moves like Hydro Pump, Flash Cannon, Icy Wind and Blizzard or Ice Beam. With its Terratai being Ice, it's no surprise if Empoleon would start a battle with a Snowscape. Emperor Empoleon can also unleash moves like Brick Break, Drill Pack or Air Slash. Although I hope it won't have any flying type moves in its move pool because of one of the following builds. And because I want to fight a bird with another bird. Before jumping into the Pokemon we recommend, Empoleon's hidden ability is competitive in the Scarlet games. So whatever you do, don't lower any of Empoleon's stats. As the competitive ability will activate, raising Empoleon's special attack by two stages. Of course, this can be countered with Weezing's ability or by someone swapping its Pokemon ability with Empoleon. Also, try to avoid NPC's allies that likes to use Pokemon with Intimidate. Don't forget our Terror Raid builds are based on predictions of what we think would work great in battle against Empoleon the Unrivaled. Updates will follow after release. Hi, Johnny from Galaxy Worm here. Welcome back to the universe and let's explore some Pokemon you could use in battle against the Master of the Waves. With Empoleon being an ice type in this fight, it has four weaknesses. Fighting, Rock, Steel and Fire. Fighting and Steel might be our best options. Although Empoleon has water type moves, a fire Pokemon with the right setup under a sunny condition could also be a viable choice. But we will know more on Friday. First, let's take a look at Quaquavel. Being a water and slash fighting type, Quaquavel resists incoming water, steel and ice type moves, making it a valuable addition to your team. However, if a flying type attack were to be included in Empoleon's movement pool, then Quaquavel might not be a great option. Optimize Quaquavel with an adamant nature, allocating EVs to maximizing attack and special defense. Equip it with a Shell Bell health item and ensure it's Terra type Stellar. We recommend waiting until the raid is live before giving it a Stellar Terra type. Teach Coquavel the following moves Low Kick, Swords Dance, Reversal, and Roost. Exploiting Empoleon's weight, Low Kick becomes a powerful move. Boost his offensive capabilities with Swords Dance, unleash Reversal when low on HP for some epic damage and employ Roost for a swift healing when needed. No interest in Coquavel? Then you can always replace him with a Polyrath, as Polyrath can use moves like Belly Drum and Rain Punch. Next up we have Goldengo, the good as gold Pokemon. Playing your cards right along with 3 Berserker, you might even win the battle in one or two turns. When using Goldengo, it can attack with Make It Rain and boost itself up with Nasty Plot. It can protect itself from special attacking moves with Light Screen and as an extra attacking move it can also use Terra Blast. The reason we don't go with Flash Cannon is because Flash Cannon has a 10% chance of lowering the target's special defense, giving Apollyon a chance to boost its special attack even more. Run Goldengo with a modest nature and allocate EVs to max HP and special attack. Provide it with a Shell Bell health item and make sure its Terra-type is Terra-type Steel. Not to forget, there is also the Spirit Monkey with a Piggy Nose. And Nihilate doesn't need to prove itself. I think we all know what this beast is capable of. The Rage Monkey can deal damage with Rage Fist and can always use Rain Punch as a backup. The other competitive ability, Screech, will not be a good choice. So in its place, you can always add the status move Focus Energy. And when fighting Empoleon through a snowstorm, then your fourth move can always be Sunny Day. Run the Piggy Nose Monkey with the Animate Nature and allocate EVs to max HP and attack. As a held item you can always provide it with a Shell Bell. And lastly, we have the Pokemon you're probably tired of seeing in every raid. Iron Hands. Iron Hands can boost itself up with Swords Dance, attack with Drain Punch while also healing some additional HP. 
Some extra move options are Focus Energy and Electric Terrain. Run Iron Hands with Animate Nature and go with max EVs for HP and attack, while providing it with a metronome health item. And as final touch, we have some support Pokemon that could become very helpful. First, we have Weezing. Because of its ability neutralizing gas, Weezing can cancel out every ability on the field, nullifying Empoleon's competitive ability. This means that Weezing can use Acid Spray without throwing the battle. Weezing can also set up the sun to cancel out Snowscape. Use Clear Smog when Empoleon's stats are raised, or use Stone to prevent the use of status moves on the other side of the battlefield. Let's see the HP Maniac or God of War can help out by setting up Light Screen, healing everyone with Life Dew, and can also switch out its ability with Skill Swap, allowing others to lower Empoleon's defense or special defense stat. The same for the special attack. As always, I'm Johnny, thanks for watching and good luck on Friday. Oh, and don't forget, the bird is the word. <laughs> Have a good one. See ya.